hi welcome to another video it's been a while since I've actually filmed a video so I thought I'd sit down today and just talk for really my current skincare routine and just tell you what I've been using so these are basically my favourites um, if you do hear anything down below some chewing that's Stevie and she's just chewing something and then just running away every time trying to get her yeah she should be fine anyway so yeah let's get into it so the first thing which I would use at night obviously I would have been wearing makeup. I wouldn't use this if I'd had no makeup day. I'd just go straight in with my face wash. But this is a cleansing oil, so I'd rather use this than use, say, like an eye makeup remover. I can't even talk. An eye makeup remover on a pad. I would rather use this. Um, I just feel like this is more cleansing. It gets right in there. Um, so this is by Una Brennan. You can buy it in Boots, and it's the Super Facialist range. It's a vitamin C plus Brighton. Um, skin Renew Cleansing Oil. So yeah, it's great for getting waterproof eye mascara off and all your makeup and it's lovely. So you pop it on dry skin, rub it around, get like your mascara off, add some water, it goes into a bit of like a milky texture. Then you just carry on rubbing and then wash it off and it's really, really nice. It also smells really good as well. Really refreshing and just nice and yeah, I love that. I think it's about ten, eight, ten pounds, but it's normally on a free for two. Um, I swap sometimes from this one to the Body Shop Chamomile um, Oil, which I've showed before and I love that one as well. They're both just as good. I think I got this one though because it was on free for two and um, something else. Um, and then after using that, I go in with this, which is a little dirty because it's been in the bathroom. <laughs> but this is by Derma Doctor um, and it's a, I don't know if I can say this properly, Kakudu? Kakudu C. So yeah, it's a brightening daily cleanser with vitamin C, A and AHAs, which are um, a form of exfoliant, which is not physical, it's more of a chemical. And I, I just love this. It's a glass bottle, so that does worry me sometimes. I think, oh my god, if I knock that over and it just smashes, that is all gone. Um, I've had this since August and it's lasted me ages. It's still a lot in there. just comes out with a little pump, so half a pump's enough really for the full face if you've already cleansed with say like the cleansing oil um, I did buy this off Cult Beauty so I don't know where else you can buy it um, I think it's an American brand and um, basically I was just fed up with my skin I was fed up with going through cleansers and just spending loads even buying cheap ones but then not liking them they irritate my skin things like that um, I did use the Soap and Glory um, Peaches and Clean um, cleanser but it just did not I love the smell I love the feeling the first time I used it on my skin um, but then it just didn't agree with me I think the fragrance was just too much and it just basically made my face itch and was really irritated so I just thought something quite not basic but just something a bit more you know with not not a huge amount of scent in it this actually smells a bit like this so these two together just make my skin anyway feel really fragranced and not fragranced sorry feel really brightened and just nice so yeah I love that one I think it's about 28 pounds which is quite expensive but it has literally lasted me from August and I reckon it's gonna last me after Christmas so I do think that's quite a good value and yeah I love it so it's Dermadoctor that one um, so after that on an evening um, I'll just go through like the average evening then I'll I'll talk you through some treatments that I've been using um, so, this is also another thing I bought off Cult Beauty when I was having a little splurge. Um, I did spend quite Balance a Balance and Calm Clearing Serum, which I got because I'm just sick of my skin, to be honest. Sick of trying everything and nothing seems to work. And this one, it has um, tea tree in it. Oh, what's in it? I'll read the back anyway. Sweet taught your fussy, blemished skin into balance. Clearing, sil sil bleh, clearing serum enlists help from the immune system's mineral friend, zinc and a combination of healing botanicals including soothing lilac stem cells, inflammation tamer, willow bark and cosmic healer, centella, I'm not even going to pronounce that but anyway, you can read everything about this on the Cult Beauty website which I will link below. Definitely has tea tree on it and did read that it did have it in. Because when I first put it on my skin I was like, oh my god, what does that remind me of? Then I remembered when I was younger, which I probably could, should visit this range again, um, I used to get the tea tree facial wash and things from the body shop and I loved that and that is just what it reminds me of. And I used to use the shampoo as well. I loved that as well. Hmm. But yeah, this is great. 
I like to pop it on a blemish um, and then just over an area if I've got any redness and I love it but it was £47. I was having one of those days I just chucked everything in the basket and I've never done that since and this is definitely not one that I would repurchase. I'd probably just buy some tea tree oil maybe because that might just do the same thing. I mean my skin's been a lot better but I don't know if I put it down to this. Um, I'd probably put it down to something else which I will mention soon. So yeah I do, I love that but it's a lot of money. So it's definitely a treat. So normally on a night I'd pop that on areas like blemishes and then I'd go in with this which is a nice facial oil and again I probably can't pronounce this one and it's called Pi, Pay, Pi, P-A-I. <laughs> they have a great website. Um, I actually got a sample of this. I saw something on Instagram where you just popped your details in and they said they was going to send um, a tiny version of this. I've always wanted to try it. It's the Rose Hit Bio... Bio Regenerate Oil, which rose hip is really great for blemishes and also hormonal spots, you know, the big lumps that come up. Um, ever since using this, I haven't got one of those. I've got two beauties here, but no big bulges on my chin, which I was getting all the time. If anyone else has those, you'll understand how annoying that is and how annoying it is when you, you can obviously cover them, but the bumps there and you just feel like it's, and on your chin as well, you just feel like it's constantly on show. Well, I did anyway. And it just made me feel self-conscious about my skin. But this one is great. So I pop this on instead of using a moisturiser. The only thing I will say is I've got used to it now. But I wasn't keen on the smell. It's got a really distinctive smell. But maybe that's just a rose hit. But this one it just says apply two to three drops to damp skin after cleansing. And allow it to fully absorb. Absorb. For dressing because yeah it does have a, a colour to it so it's an orangey colour um, and it's fine but obviously if you don't let it absorb properly that would stain your white sheets or your top or whatever. Yeah I absolutely love this and I would definitely repurchase it. I put my skin feeling a lot better even though it's not perfect I've got a lot of scars and I've still got spots but by using this I feel like my skin's just got a hundred times better. I think it's 21 pounds or 20 it's in the 20 uh, early 20s I'm not in my 20s anymore, I'm 30. But this is still in the 20 pound zone, I think. But yeah, I love it. So yeah, I would basically use that on a night and then I pop some eye cream on. So this one I actually got free with a magazine and it's by the Organic Pharmacy. And I think it came with InStyle magazine. Was it? Or was it? It might have been tap. Sorry, I can see. Oh, Harper's Bazaar. I never really buy that magazine but Richard bought me it and I love the magazine and I love using this. It's for the lips as well so it's a lip and eye cream um, which I find it's really thick, it's quite sticky as well so it's not one where you can just you know swipe it on, you've really got to sort of tap it in and make sure it's all gone in but it just makes my eyes feel so much brighter and I use it on my lips as well and they feel loads more moisturised so yeah I love that and I don't know where you bite from and I don't know how much it costs but it just says apply a small amount to the area around the eyes and lips. I've actually not been putting it around my lips, I've been putting it on my lips, maybe I'm doing that wrong. But it still feels great and I like it so yeah, I'd use that and then I'd leave it at that on a night. Um, so then I'll go on to morning, so obviously I've slept, I wake up, <laughs> um, I use the same facial wash as well in the morning. So I pop the Derma Doctor on again, love this one. Um, and then I would probably, I've got a facial spritz, this is by La Roche Posay and um, it's great for oily and blemish prone skin which I do have so I'd spray some of this over so I don't like to go you know with loads of products in the morning and um, so yeah I'd spray that which I love and it's the Cero Zinc Zinc Sulfate Solution for oily blemish prone skin so yeah just basically refreshes your skin as well and I like to use that and it just makes me feel a lot more awake. So I like that one. Um, and also, I've run out of this one now and I do need to get another one. Um, this is by La, Ro La, Ro La, Ro <laughs> La Roche Posay as well and it's the F Clair Duo Plus. Oh my god, why can I not speak? I think I know why. I'm starving. I need my dinner. Yeah, this is the Duo Plus. Ugh. This is a Duo Plus. I can't say it. This is a Duo Plus. 
um, range. <laughs> so it's anti-imperfections, so I just pop this on areas like my chin, wherever I've got any scars from spots or any spots, and I think it does do a job of helping them heal faster and helping the marks disappear, so that one. And then as a moisturiser by the same brand, um, I've also been using the F. Leclerc Matte, so it's anti-pores, um, so anti-shine, anti-pores moisturiser. So I've absolutely been loving that Something one. Something I'd use, say, like once or twice a week. Probably once a week at this time, anyway. But this one is AHA Alpha H Liquid Gold. Um, it's with glycolic acid. And this is something that I put on after I've cleansed um, my skin. I put it on with a cotton pad. Just literally wipe it over the face. And then that's it. Just go to bed. It's a chemical exfoliant, so you do wake up the next day. Sometimes it can bring out a few blemishes. Um, but then the day after, I feel like my skin just looks so much more brighter and a lot more clearer. And I really like that. That was off Cult Beauty as well in my moment of madness splurge. And yeah, a little goes a long way and I feel like it's going to last me a while, that one. Um, and then another thing, which is a face mask. So this is when I feel really congested. This is by Sanctuary Spa Convent Garden. And it's a cleanse, five minute thermal detox mask. I've repurchased this so many times, I can't remember how many times I've had it. But I absolutely love this. It's a mud mask and um, it warms up on the skin so it feels like it's really, you know, getting into the pores and clearing your skin. It doesn't smell anything bad or anything. And yeah, I love that one. So yeah, so that is my current skincare routine.